why the struggle is so real for me right now is because a few years back, I want to say like 2014, I made a conscious choice and decision to get off all forms of government assistance. Why? Because damn near my whole life, when my mom left my father, she became a, a government, she became a welfare recipient. And, 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 and that's, and you know, I don't judge that because when you got kids and you don't have the proper support system, you got to do what you got to do for your children, right? So I'm thankful. Not only am I thankful for my mother, but I'm thankful that the government, you know, the federal government, the state government, whatever, local government, county, whatever, stepped up to help to fill in the void for where my father left off. So I'm so thankful for that. But being on, being a, 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 a government assistant recipient from the age of, let's just say, four years old all the way up until I was 39. And that's real talk. Like, that's a long goddamn time to be receiving government assistance. Like, your existence or who you are is partially because of what the government done to help feed you. And you know what I'm saying? So it's like, okay, when I became um, a young woman, it was around that time that I became a mother. So I needed assistance because the dad wasn't there in that child life. And the story continues. And that that's just how shit had played out. Maybe it's a piss poor choice of men that I chose to, uh, to, to get me pregnant or whatever. That's for a whole nother story. Long story short, I made a conscious effort to say, you know what? I have been on welfare too fucking long. Section 8, food stamps, Medicaid, that type of thing. And at this current moment, I still do receive Medicaid for myself and my children. But I stopped doing the food stamp thing. I'm no longer on Section 8. Everything is like what I pay out. And it, it, it it's not a matter of pride. You know what I'm saying? But I just feel like, damn, let me get the government a break. You know what I'm saying? Let me just try to do this shit on my own. And then I felt the obligation to allow my children to see, you know, number one, maybe one day they're going to be, they are going to be um, mothers and fathers. They're going to be parents. And I don't want them to feel like, okay, well, this is how you take care of your kids. No, I wanted them to see, okay, well, no matter how hard it is or was, you still got to take care and maintain and provide for you and yours. That's just how that is. So it was a thing about giving the government a break, standing on my own two feet, seeking total independence, and teaching my children at the same time, setting a positive example for my kids. And when I tell y'all the motherfucking struggle is real, it's real. But yet and still, I don't give a fuck. I'm taking my ass to work. And we gonna, you know, we gonna have to make this shit work because I'm not going to be no nah, I feel like, it's my duty to support myself. I look at third world countries like Haiti and places like that where there ain't no fucking government assistance. Motherfuckers get up and go to work every day. My grandparents, they did sharecropping. You know what I'm saying? But, man, listen, man. If they can do it, if the world can do it, why the fuck can't I? And I ain't the first, nor am I going to be the last single mother in this world. So it ain't shit to prove to the world. It's something to prove to myself. It's something to prove to my children. It ain't a thing of pride. It's a thing of take care of your fucking self. And I told God, and I remember having this conversation with the Most High 
about it back in 2014. Like, God, you know what? I'm tired of being on this government assistance. And I, and I foreseen the changes that actually is about to take place in the next few years. I foreseen that shit. And I say, you know what? I want to be ahead of that shit. I don't want to be like, yo, just imagine. Just really sit back and imagine what shit going to be like when they cut all government assistance. Motherfuckers just so used to they made it a lifestyle to be so totally fucking codependent on the government. And they used to the government providing everything. You getting a check every month. Or you getting your food stamps every month. Or they preparing for your health care and shit like that. Man, listen. When now all that shit stop, it's going to be chaos. Which, like, yo, I just didn't want no part of it. I rose above that shit. I want total fucking independence, not for ego's sake, not for none of that shit, but just simply because, man, listen, everybody, everybody should be able to, every adult supposed to hold a fucking on, yo, I don't give a fuck, and like, I ain't into politics, but I think I'm leaning more towards the Republican side, you know what I'm saying? I feel like Democrat shit enables people. It really does. It enables people. If you able body, you ain't got no type of disability. You ain't impaired in no kind of way. Get your motherfucking ass up and go to work just like anybody else. If you if there ain't nobody gonna hire you, you you motherfucking start you a business. You do research. It's shit out here. There's grants. There's all types of shit. You could get a loan. You do whatever the fuck you got to do, but don't sit up here and make piss poor ass excuse and be some fucking welfare recipient receiving government assistance when your ass is able body. And I feel like young people, that's something I swear they should instill it in the school systems or something. And I also feel like it's parents responsibility. Now, single parents, like, yo, for real, they got it hard. I can speak from my own experiences and shit. But, like, man, really, you should educate your children, yo. You should you should homeschool your fucking kids, yo. If you, man, listen, ain't no motherfucking excuse. Anybody can have access to the internet. It's all types of free programs, free things out here for children, for parents, for to do homeschooling. You know, like people throw their kids off on the teachers and the teachers got to deal with your fucking dysfunctional ass fucking child. Man, listen, yo, it's time for people to step the fuck up. That's why I say, and I don't give a fuck. Like, like I said, I'm not in politics and I honestly, maybe I'm not even in a position to speak on this shit because I honestly, consciously, on purpose, don't watch the news. But one thing I will say is this. I don't know if this is the county, city, county, state, or federal. I don't know. Because I ain't into politics like that. But one thing I will say is this. Since the Republicans have been in the House, in the House, I've seen improvement. I've seen where it's forcing people to step their fucking game up with who, who is against the betterment of your city your state. Who the fuck is against that shit? Only a lazy motherfucker that don't want to be held accountable and don't want to put in no type of effort and work. Them the ones that's going to be complaining. But the people that actually work hard that actually went to fucking school, got their degrees and out here working at to put up with their boss's bullshit to climb their way up the ladder of success. Why not reap the benefits? And living in a better society where the roles are paid. There's more businesses being started. Um, You know what I'm saying? So, therefore, the taxes is going to go up. People are always complaining. Oh, the gas is too high. Oh, they done add taxes and shit. What the fuck you expect? Shit. Like, people really want it. Everything handed to them free on a silver fucking platter. What the fuck is wrong with people, man? That's why I say I really... Again, I'm not into politics, so maybe I need to do my research. And I know it's crooked motherfuckers in the house. And everybody ain't for the betterment of their people. Some people just in it for their fucking selves. And I get that. 
But the whole idea of raising taxes or starting businesses, uh, building new buildings and stuff like that, I'm for that shit. I am. And I remember when I moved to Greenville, I moved to Greenville in 2015. And then, like, yo, it's 2018. I have seen drastic change. They have built a whole motherfucking highway. My road, the road that I live on way out here in the wilderness has been paved. I'm fucking happy about that shit. I see my tax dollars going to work and I'm happy about that. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's my spill on the struggle, yo. Uh, and, and even though it's hard for me as a single mother, you know, I asked for this and, and I ain't complaining. It's going to get better, but I got to hold my own. I got examples to teach my children. Peace.